Welcome to Superhero Stories. I am your host, Captain EJ. Today, you're here in the Honey Bee neighborhood, waiting for a visit from my old friend, Peter Parker. Well, <laughs> you probably know him as the one and only Spider-Man. I spoke with Spidey not too long ago. He'll be here soon. You are here in your bedroom, tidying up a little before hopping into your cozy bed. You click the light off, turn down the soft blankets, and take one last sip of water before plunging into bed. The blankets are pulled all the way up to your chin and you are so comfy. Take a slow, deep breath in through your nose. Feel the softness that surrounds you and holds you tight. Then slowly breathe all the way out through your mouth and sink in even deeper. All you have to do is drift off to a peaceful sleep. What was that? Were you dreaming? You look to the window and then to a shadow on the opposite wall that's coming in from the moonlight. The shadow swings quickly past your window to the other side of your house as if it's swinging on a vine. That's ludicrous. No one is swinging past your window, unless they are. There's no way you'll sleep until you see what's making the shadow. You can see it heading back to swing in the opposite direction, so you pretend to be asleep but keep one eye open ever so slightly. The shadowy figure whooshes by too quickly for you to see anything. You quickly hop up out of bed to investigate. Peeking up from the bottom of the window, you can't see anything out of the ordinary. You slowly stand all the way up and look to one side, then all the way to the other, then down to the ground. Before you can think to look up, the shadow slowly lowers from above your house, down from the top of the window. You're going to bravely meet this thing face to face. It's Spider-Man. You laugh heartily at how scared you were for no reason. This is one of your best friends. He stopped by the Honey Bee neighborhood to see what you were up to, if you wanted to hang out, maybe upside down like he is now. How can you say no to that? Spider-Man weaves a web harness for you and you swing out of your window to hang upside down just like him. It's so quiet at night and while upside down, you study the houses on the block from a perspective you've never seen. Spider-Man nudges you with his elbow and points down the street. A single neighbor is up and about. It's Captain EJ. You are excited to go see him, but Spider-Man holds you back saying, not so fast. This is an opportunity for some fun. Spider-Man pulls two shiny new web slingers out of his suit and hands one to you. He says that Mr. Honeybee just finished this prototype for him to try out, but we need to return them in the morning first thing. That sounds incredibly suspicious because you know that Mr. Honeybee doesn't like to show anyone his prototypes until they're officially done. You also know that Spider-Man loves to sneak gadgets out of the garage like cookies from the cookie jar. Well, if this is a prototype, you might as well help Mr. Honeybee by using it to see how well it works, right? You decide that's right enough, and Spider-Man tells you his plan. He wants to prank Captain EJ, because what else are bestest friends for? You and Spider-Man slink down from hanging and creep over to Captain EJ's house just down the street. He likes to shoot hoops between missions, and his last one was a doozy. He really needs to unwind before his next mission comes in. Swinging from the light posts and chimneys, you and Spider-Man get as close to Captain EJ as you can without him seeing you. Take a slow, deep breath in through your nose. Feel your chest and your spirits lift being here with your best friends. Then slowly breathe all the way out through your mouth and wait with Spider-Man to make your move. Captain EJ gets his basketball from the side of his house and dribbles it up and down his driveway, yo-yoing the ball between his legs as he spins around, jumps, and makes basket after basket. He can even make it backwards. Captain EJ tries to challenge himself with harder and harder tricks. Now is the perfect time to strike. Captain EJ stands so far away he's in his neighbor's yard. He spins around backwards and bounces the ball a couple times to prepare. Then he throws the ball up in the air and waits a few seconds to hear it swoosh through the net, but it doesn't, because you launched your web slinger and caught the basketball in midair, then pulled it up to where you and Spider-Man are hiding. 
You two can hardly contain your laughter as you watch Captain EJ wait a couple more seconds then turn back, curious as to where the basketball went. From your rooftop hiding place, with the basketball in your hands and Spider-Man at your side, you suddenly feel a force pulling the ball from you upwards and over the roof. Spider-Man is perplexed. What could possibly pull the ball upwards and away from you? You grab the ball with all of your might, but it's barely holding in place. Spider-Man helps you and you both dig your heels in to keep the ball with you. The force pulling you and Spider-Man gets stronger and stronger. You can't fight it any longer. You, Spider-Man, and the basketball are pulled from the rooftop, spinning through the air right down to Captain EJ, who has his hands up and his palm facing outward. The soft grass breaks your fall. You and Spider-Man tumble, fumble, and roll right up to Captain EJ's feet. He is shocked to see you two here and laughs a little as he helps you up, confused. You and Spider-Man are just as confused as he is. Spider-Man asks what that was. How did Captain EJ pull the ball along with you two back to him? Captain EJ laughs a little and confesses that he likes to sneak into Mr. Honeybee's garage when he can't sleep and test out all of his prototypes. Captain EJ holds out his hand and shows you a device on his wrist that looks like a silver bracelet. This is actually a very powerful magnet, which you can choose what to connect to. It's a safety thing that Mr. Honeybee is testing out. He simply linked the bracelet up with the basketball just in case it rolled out into the street. He wouldn't have to chase after it. Who knew it was powerful enough to magnetize two whole people back as well? Captain EJ explained his side, but still wonders what you two are doing here. Spider-Man laughs and confesses to the prank and that he also likes to sneak into Mr. Honeybee's garage to test out prototypes. You and Spider-Man show Captain EJ the web slingers you use to swipe his basketball. Like the three best friend superheroes you are, you, Captain EJ, and Spider-Man immediately think of something fun to do with both the web slingers and the magnets. You all come up with a true superhero obstacle course through the neighborhood in the dead of night. First. You will have web swinging races for both speed and distance. Then you will see what all you can magnetize with those little bracelets. Captain EJ gives you the bracelet to put on your wrist. Then you all situate yourselves on the starting line for the races. Whoever can make it back to your house first wins. This is going to be good. Take a slow, deep breath in through your nose. Feel the coolness of the nighttime air coming in through your nose. Then slowly breathe out all the way out through your mouth and launch the web as fast and as far as you can. Spider-Man has an obvious leg up with how much he's practiced his web maneuvering, but you and Captain EJ are not making it easy on him. Together, all three of you swing from chimneys, trees, light posts, and street signs soaring on the breeze. Captain EJ has edged ahead of you and Spider-Man has fallen into third place. Captain EJ uses his incredible strength to push himself off your neighbor's house with all of his might, but before he can land, you magnetize yourself back to your house and zip right by him. The three of you land on your roof out of breath, using what little breath you have to laugh as quietly as you can. You are the winner, but you didn't realize how much time had gone by. You can see the first glimmer of the sunrise, so you all have to sneak back into Mr. Honeybee's garage and put everything away so he doesn't suspect a thing. Tonight with your friends, Captain EJ and Spider-Man was better than any dream you could have had. That concludes our story. I can't wait to see you again. Captain EJ, over and out.